perhaps of his career to date, now in the shape of Cuba's Andy Cruz, the number two seed in this bantamweight division. Asano versus Cruz coming up, and I know you're looking forward to this one. Yeah, Asano really has caught my eye so far during this championships. His first day performance really stood out for me, and then he got another another victory in his last 16 contest and this is a fantastic opportunity for him he's he's got good momentum he's going to be up against it against the cuban boxer but he'll be believing in himself uh, cruz the 20 year old who's unbeaten in the wsp for four bouts the number two seed and having replaced an Olympic gold medalist in the Cuban team. He has not let anyone down. He has lived up to the billing and the opportunity that he's been afforded. Okay, guys, no holding. Keep your hands up. Keep your punches up. Okay, shake your hands. Good luck. Intriguing one, this. Asano in the red. Cruz in the blue. Asano believes in himself 100%. And that is a lightning jab you see from the Cuban Cruz immediately. That was a, a great jab just to let Asano know you're in with the big boys now. This is how it is. Speed is going to be crucial here. Cruz is out of the block sharply. It's a nice jab again from Cruz on a, a left hook on the side of Asenau's head. And I did mention earlier in the week what you do sometimes see with Cubans is they do enough to win against the opponent that's in front of them and you can't step it up against the more quality opponents. Yeah. Yeah. Cruz did what he had to against the, the Russian Nazarov. He already looks much, much sharper here this evening and he's countering, the jab is working effectively. Asano needs to, to find a way of avoiding that jab and getting his own punches on target. This is a much better performance from Cruz this afternoon. Out jabbing the taller man. Those long arms he has. A minute or so to go in this one. No slapping, super no slapping. Don't hold, don't hold. Hey! Step back. Cruz has just been sort of shaking out his right hand a couple of times when he's landed a punch. I don't know if that's just to let the judges know that they were scoring. Yeah, a bit of psychological don't warfare don't hold, there from hold. Cruz. And letting Asenau know where it did. Just lands a scoring punch. And he does it again. He's just got that little sort of move. show as we head inside the final 30 seconds good right hand from Cruz lovely times right hand from Cruz that was a solid shot punch of the round so far and catching Asano again it's better from the Belarusian and again A good round for Cruz. I think that the first minute with the jab probably won it for him. Asano got better as the round progressed. Cruz's timing was uh, impeccable in that round. Really excellent timing for Lanza's punches. Wow. Well, only one of the judges gave that round to Cruz. Two to Asano. He did finish brightly, he was on the front foot, but 
much as we love Asano, I have to say that I thought the crew's jab was the story of that round. Both missed. There wasn't so many scoring punches. Turn to Aston. Really would have thought Cruz would have won that round with the cleaner work and the cleaner punches. Arsenal just didn't quite get going like we've seen him so far. Wow. That was down to Cruz not letting him. What he did do, here we go in the second. Towards the end of that round, Arsenal, he started to, to show one of the things that we've seen in the earlier rounds from him. That's staying almost in range, but making his opponent miss. And that, that's one of his real skills. And he's just started to switch on to that at the end of the first round. Now it's Asano's turn to show out and suggest he, he landed there. This is a better start from Asano in the second round. He's running away with it so far though, it's just better than the first round. And still pretty even so far in this second round. Yeah, some of those skirmishes are difficult to see who exactly landed when and where. Yeah. Cruz's jabs landing as Arsenal was advancing. And for me, that should be catching the judge's eyes because oh, it's big not punch. enough clean stuff coming from Arsenal. It was a, a lovely short right hand there from Cruz that rocked Arsenal back off balance. See, that left jab as Arsenal is coming forward, he's just snapping his head back and really is eye-catching. Yeah, he caught him twice there, Cruz. Cruz looks much sharper today. <laughs> a minute to go then in the second. Could have a real close out on our hands here and that big ha right hand there from Cruz that just landed and another one again yeah great right hand that jab of Cruz is really is a weapon he's he's out jabbing the taller man and it, it's a cracking shot he's got in his locker Making Arsenal miss and then counter him with his own shots. And making him pay is great work from Cruz. Arsenal looking to come back, trying to stay in the boat. That's, that is good to watch, isn't it, Alex? The way Cruz is just coming out of range and then landing his own punches. Yeah, high class stuff. It's a really good match up this. Shame someone's got to go out at the quarter final stage. It is. Uh, some eye catching punches there from Cruz. And how did the judges see that one? Well, Asano, he liked his work again. That is amazing. A bit of a surprise. It's level on one scorecard, but the other two. Like the look of Asano. Into the third, and the Cuban Andy Cruz needs something big here. <laughs> the tactics from the Cuban corner, I could imagine to be simply keep doing what you're doing. I suspect they'd be surprised if they were able to monitor the, the scoreline. Often when they're close to the ring, they're not necessarily looking up at the big screen. They're 
just concentrating on what they're doing and, and on their man. Cruz's jab alone is doing enough to win this contest for me. Really has used the jab well. And I asked and I was having some success, but I haven't seen many clean shots landed at all, even when he's lifting his hand up afterwards to signal that he scored. I mean, that one went over the shoulder. And Michael Conlon will be watching this one from back in the changing rooms, and I'm, I'm sure he'd prefer Asenau as a, an opponent than the Cuban. He'd be happy if Asenau comes to it. But I think Conlon and fancies his chances against anyone. He seems to really believe in himself. Asenau making Cruz miss there. That was good. Again. Yeah, that was better for Nacional because Cruz is becoming a little fr frustrated and having to push forward a little bit, and that suits Nacional. It's a good back foot boxer. That jab again, though, from Cruz really is scoring the points. Great oh. shot. What a shot that was. It's been a, a good to and fro in this round. You know, Arsenal's making him miss, pick, punishing him with one or two, and then Cruz comes back with some solid jabs. Oh, it's, without a doubt as well, it's, it's been a highly competitive bout. But for me, Cruz has done the much better work with that jab alone. And he's landed a few nice, solid right hands in in there to boot. That was a good one from Massonau, though. Great right hand. That. that was his best shot of the contest so far. And there's only 20 seconds left. And he's had the first proper clean one that's landed. And that was in response to a right to the body from Cruz that had landed just seconds before. <laughs> nice right hand from Asenau. Well, Cruz thinks he's won. Cubans think they've won. Scorecards might tell a slightly different story. <laughs> see some of the action you can see both men miss in that round but they both landed with some eye-catching shots too the winner in ring B by the whale points in the red corner, representing Belarus, Dmitry Asenov. Asenov delighted. Cruz cannot believe it. He cannot believe it. And that's a result that will have one or two talking in the boxing forums across the land. Asano sort of blows his cheeks and now Cruz has gone from disbelief to I think anger. It's a shame, it really is. Um, we're both fans of Asano and his boxing style, but what's right is right. And for me, Cruz was more than a worthy winner for that one. But like we said, judges have different opinions and Arsenal doesn't look surprised, Cruz does. So we know the shape of the Bantamweight semi-finals. Akhmedaliyev against Tapa, the Indian. The number 17 has just won over in ring A. So Akhmedaliyev against Tapa and Conlon, the number 